America, one of the fattest countries in the world where 40% of adults are obese, 20% are severely obese. But with all that, there's a hidden gem. Arlington, Virginia, the fittest city in America, five years in a row with a score of 86 out of a possible 100 on the American Fitness Index. Today we're gonna check it out to see what you, me, and the rest of the world can learn. Arlington is ranked in the top 10 for highest bike score, meaning that they're very bike friendly, a lot of bike lanes. And when a place is pedestrian friendly, that means people are getting more active throughout the day as opposed to just on planned exercise times. So with that said, we're gonna bike to our first stop. There are tons of these like bike share lanes, like literally everywhere. You can even see on the map over there. There's like, it's like red dots everywhere. So I've never actually biked on the road before, so I'm kind of nervous. Hopefully I don't hurt myself. They should come with helmets. It's five cents per minute. I should really be increasing my own fee. You know what I mean? Hopefully biking here is not like biking in New York, but I'd probably have to be a combination of every can of Reeves character just to, you know, dodge taxis, pedestrians, and knee-deep potholes. My only threat is probably getting run off the road by a by a jack chipmunk. Holy sh! It's so smooth, almost too smooth, which makes for a great commute, but not a good substitute to my morning rides. Okay, we got some downhill. What goes up must come down, but sometimes something can't go up. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh, fuck. oh my god. This is a stupid idea. I'm starting to think that the eight minutes was for the average Arlington person. Is the average person Lance Armstrong? I feel like we've broken like 15 laws on the way here. I wonder if the cops have to be more fit to chase these people. I don't want to find out. Are oh, you good? Yeah. Oh, shit. we're two minutes away. Fuck. Never again. We're taking new birds from now on. Never again. Oh, that was actually weird. sorry. I don't know how exciting this shape looks right now. Oh, they're riding, they're, they're riding ice cream. They're riding. Oh, that's. I was gonna say I don't know how exciting that shake looked until they started adding some Greek yogurt to it. So it's pretty good. We got the green cure smoothie, 375 calories. There is guacamole, kale and strawberry. It kind of looks like guacamole that would have me bringing my pillow to the bathroom afterwards. Like that looks a little bit suspicious. I'm definitely doing this for myself, but not for me. If you know what I'm saying, this is definitely for my body. I just got ambushed by kale. <clears throat> we had some avocado, we had some strawberry. I've had a grapefruit this morning, depending on their definition of consume. So we're three servings of fruit down. Arlington is ranked in the top 10 for percentage of residents that consume two plus servings of fruit per day. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm liking it. It's kind of like a culinary Stockholm syndrome. Really good, actually. Damn. Arlington leads America with the number of residents that meet aerobic and strength training guidelines. So we gotta go work out to fit in. There's some great bodybuilding gyms like this one right here, DMV Iron, one of the top three bodybuilding gyms in America. I was supposed to do a leg day, but we're walking around. There's so many sick machines. So this is gonna be a full body day to try a bunch of stuff up and have some fun. Take a look at this machine. It's for your forearms. It looks like it's like for like something not your forearms. I freaking destroyed my forearms this morning. I'm assuming they have this machine here because there's some badass power lifters and strong man at this gym. Like it looks like the average squat, probably 600 pounds. If you have one of these at your gym, it's an absolute privilege. The steel roll. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Like, what the heck is this? We literally saw it from across the gym. It's like a skyscraper. I haven't seen such a creative way to hit something since my dealer lost his bong. This is like a Cirque du Soleil porn parody or something. If I fuck up, I'm like literally like in the middle of everyone, like the whole gym. Whoa. That shit was crazy. This is taking being afraid of a leg day to a whole new level. We just realized that this entire side of the gym, all of these machines are all for your legs. It's insane, there's so much stuff. Like leg press, leg press, leg press, leg press. I'm jealous. I don't think I've ever experienced a mind muscle connection quite like this. I feel like I'm connected with my quad. Like seriously connected. Very connected. We didn't know what this machine was. It could literally be anything. I've been here for like the past couple minutes trying to figure it out. It looks like we're in the bicep section, so each side is its own seat. It's a single arm curl. Yeah, I want to tour, but I'm 
for the soil. Hey, bruh, remember they used to ignore us? Now they drop. Like musical chairs for your biceps. Independent but no label. For now I'm going hard enough that the streams will lead to a house by the beach. We were literally just saying that if you're a member at this gym and you're not jacked, you should be ashamed of yourself because everything here is the best machine I've ever used in my entire life. Did you know Arlington is the fittest city in America? No, I didn't know. You didn't know that? No, I did not. I did not know that. I did. You did know that? Yeah. What's the biggest contributing factor to that, you think? Whatever wealth is, there's help. Money. 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 Okay, someone else said money too. You will have more free time. I'm guessing that because this is actually probably a fairly rich area, there are probably a bunch of like, saying the same thing. Yeah, money. like high quality gyms. Orange Theory and like Soul Cycles, they're, they're everywhere. Literally next door, there's a CrossFit gym, and then on the other side, there's like a, a kids' playground thing. Yeah. How many days a week are you in the gym? Every day. My mom's a bodybuilder though. She's oh, your mom's a bodybuilder? Yeah, she's like 65. She okay. won first place in a. The NPC one, not nothing wow. professional. Yeah. He lost. He's 60 pounds down. Yeah. If you want to see my like. Yeah, let's see it. That's his driver's license six months ago. Look at the face difference. You got the chisel jawline, man. Yeah. I need to get the protractor out. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a tendency in America for like everything to be set up for you to make bad decisions very easily. You look at these like obese parts of the world. Yeah. People have no money, so you have to resort to fast food, and because like, you have no other option, right? So like you have to eat something. That gym was a solid 10 out of 10. Now we're gonna go try to find a healthy meal, which I don't think will be too hard to find. Remember when I said finding a healthy place would not be that hard? Well, I was right. I searched healthy restaurants in Google Maps and a bunch of red dots popped up. It's like I'm trying to find a fake natty in zoo culture. There's a lot of options to choose from in a very like, small proximity here. So we are literally standing in front of another Sweet Leaf, apparently an Arlington local spot. I see a Nando's, which is great. Usually in America, you're overwhelmed with fast food. I have yet to see any fast food. Look at this, we're literally at the traffic light. There's an orange theory right there. A One Life Fitness. There's a True Food. And then there's a Chipotle. Crazy. Almost all the restaurants are Mediterranean. I don't know if this is coincidental, but the Mediterranean diet is one of the healthiest diets in the world. A lot of grilled foods, a lot of fresh vegetables, good quality carbs, and protein and fats. Another thing is there is literally no smokers. We've been hanging around the city all day. I've yet to see one smoker. So they have the least amount of smokers in all of America. Three and a half percent of the population smokes, which I think is amazing. I think it's cigarettes. They didn't specify. I do see some people that need my eye drops. Maybe they had a green cure of their own, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm hungry. Second restaurant we've been to today, they also have the calories, which I think is amazing. It's really important to know what's in your food. I ordered myself, which I don't typically do, a drink with calories in it. We got the hibiscus limeade refresher. The guy, when I ordered that, he was like, do you plug your nose when you jump in the pool as well? 110 calories. Smells like a lady. And tastes like a lady. Oh my God, that's exactly what I needed. I feel kind of low right now for a lot of steps. We've been walking a lot. It's three o'clock almost at 10,000 steps. So typically at home, 10 to 12,000. So I'm gonna surpass that today. A lot of foot, a lot of footsteps, a lot of foot. So I got Brussels sprouts and I got spaghetti squash casserole. I'm never allowed to have Brussels sprouts at home because I fart. And Katie says, they're not allowed in the house. But Katie, I know you're watching. Oh my God, those are good, holy sh Spaghetti squash is like a stepdad. It's trying to be the real thing, but we, we all know it's not. Whenever there's cheese on top, it's like gaslighting me into thinking it's unhealthy. The meat needs some chapstick, because it's dry. Like my soul, but I feel good. I just wanted to say that. I feel good, I'm eating healthy. When you eat healthy, you feel energized. It's just awesome. You could do hard drugs for a week straight. You come to a place like this, it'll start you out. Arlington household incomes almost double the national average, meaning people can afford to eat out and get high quality, healthy foods. Along with restaurants, there's even a vast difference in the types of foods offered in grocery stores compared to less affluent areas with tons of high-end stores to choose from like Whole Foods, Balducci's, and Mom's Organic Market. You have to love an independent grocery store. Sure, the prices are outrageous, but they always have the firmest zucchinis, the juiciest grapefruits, and pineapple in season beyond just Valentine's Day. There are 184 parks in Arlington. So Arlington's not that big, 250,000 people and 184 parks. So we're gonna check out a few of them right now. We are currently in Mosaic Park, which is like a kid's playground. So we gotta be kind of a little careful here. I don't even know if I'm allowed here, but look at this, beautiful. We should probably go check the, the monkey bars for future IP pros. What are you guys doing? Holy sh And then do a pull up real quick and then- You're gonna hurt yourself now.
That's pretty anticlimactic. Yeah. You guys watch the videos, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You want to make some money? Yes. Okay. Sure. And you guys can do 20 push-ups right but, now. But these are so easy. 20. It's easy. How old are you? I'm 14. You're 14. I'm just really short. Oh. 20 push-ups, 20 dollars right now. Okay. Let's see it. Let's go. One, two, Yo. ten. You're halfway. Let's go. Eleven, nineteen, twenty. I couldn't even do one push-up when I was fourteen. There you go, man. Thank you. Hell yeah. Do you oh, want to try? I want to try What's after. Your name? I think. One, two, three, nineteen. 20. Yes. There you go. Good job. There's something in the water here. You want to try too? All right. I'm going to go broke here. I'm going to go broke at the park. If we play football. We have to do 50 push-ups every day. You play football? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. What's your, what position? One, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven, eighteen. Come on. 19, 20. Too easy, dude. Can Please. I try? Yeah. yeah. I'm not very strong. She's actually go broke. I'm a runner, but. I'm, going, I'm literally down like $60 one, it's amazing. I know you little dude. Two. Nineteen. Twenty. Dude, good job, man. Thank you. Buy yourself some protein Thank shakes. You, you guys protein need some protein shakes. shakes. Do you know the, the Fairlife protein shakes? Yeah, did you drink those? Yeah. Okay. Did you guys know Arlington's the fittest city in America? No. Yeah, it is. Do you I might live subscribe here? To you. I don't, yeah. I might subscribe to you. You might subscribe? You What's should subscribe. Always be focused, okay? Right. Big leagues. I better see you guys in the NFL. A few moments later. Yo guys, we have more gifts for you. Give you guys some hats, some Gymshark hats. Oh, let's go. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Thank you. We got a couple Gymshark athletes at the park. Thank there you. There you go. There you Thank go, man. So yeah, absolutely. I like that, man. You're rocking it. You look in the hat, man. Did you know Gymshark's having a Black Friday sale? 60% off store wide. I'm going to buy that. You guys should check it out, too. Black Friday sale Gymshark. This is That's big. not how you this wear a big. hat. That's not how you wear a hat. I'm going to wear this to school it. tomorrow. Oh. You're going to wear it to school tomorrow? Yeah. You're gonna pull for sure. Wait, you have a... Some of them are not even 10 years old. They're getting 20 push-ups. Crazy. I don't know if the kids are like fascinated by me because they're all watching me or they just want me to leave. I apologize, guys. Oh. Yeah, probably... The next park we're at is Quincy Park, a much bigger park. Looks to be like some like recreational soccer games going on over there. They have the most amount of tennis courts per 10,000 residents. Even the squirrels here. The squirrels look show ready in Arlington. I wonder, like the raccoons, they probably just don't flip garbage cans. They, they flip dumpsters in, in Arlington. Squirrels are looking for protein. Where'd it go? Oh, Yo. What's up, with you? Do you know you live in the, the fittest city in America? Yeah, there's a lot of geopolitical reasons for that. Yeah. I'm down. Eat my nuts. I ain't coming down. 20 push ups, $20. Bruh. I just want a nut. They even have a basketball court. There's some batting cages right there. It's very like, everything's very well maintained. Like the grounds are like, there's no garbage anywhere. Our community values a healthy and safe environment. We ask that you do not smoke within 50 feet of the playground. They basically mean don't smoke within all of Arlington. Look how beautiful this park is. So I don't know the name of this one, but this is a calisthenics park. Holy shit. Wow. They don't use the land for like building buildings and stuff. It's all just like, it's so nice to see this. Like you don't see this that often, especially like in a city. It's seen better days, but I mean, it's pretty good still. It seems like they put a lot of money like into like the sports and like literally where I'm from, like we have nothing like this. I can't believe like the actual like conditions of these fields and stuff for the kids. And it's a high school. They definitely agree with me. You gotta get them while they're young. After some more time frolicking in the park, we then infiltrated the courthouse to fuck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We, we were invited by a very nice lady named Katie Crystal, Arlington County Board Chair, where we got to ask her a few questions about Arlington and the community. Oh, wrong fucking building. 2100. I don't know why I'm jogging. I think I feel like Arlington's just like rubbed off on me a bit. <laughs> Did you know that this was the fittest city? We did. We've actually gotten that designation, I think, a couple years running. So we're very proud of it. Yeah. yeah. A lot Seven, of parks. A lot of yeah. parks. But also the way we have done something that we call transit-oriented development. People have really 
healthier ways of moving around. Do you think that a lot of people who like are residents here, they, they kind of like request things that are like out of the ordinary? Very heated advocacy for more pickleball courts, for example. Pickleball. Pickleball, okay, yes. Cool. I don't know, is that big in Canada yet? I've honestly like just heard about it. Yeah. Our community among others has advocated for uh, a multimodal kind of pedestrian bike bridge to accompany it so people would have that crossing into DC. Do you get involved with like the, the fitness stuff like in like the community? Like what, what do you like to do? I uh, have a small son who's about three and a half so he take a, a dance class uh, through oh, the nice. county's Parks and Rec program, okay. which is great. So do you find traffic to, here to be like lighter? As we've added sizable population in the last 20 years, the number of cars on the road has actually declined. Declined in real terms, not wow. even per capita terms. So what do you think like other countries or like cities like within the country can do to like get similar like rates to like Arlington? Because you guys are like an anomaly. I think we as Americans tend to have this, this idea that um, health and weight are personal choices. And in fact, they are so shaped by the environments we're in. I think that's so true because like kids when they grow up, they're like, you're, you're influenced by your parents. Yes. And my mom is like, so, like she's like a health nut. Really? So she, would, she would never put butter on her bread. So I see that as a kid, so now I would never put butter on my bread. One of the things that I think is amazing is I'll talk to Arlington teenagers and kids are like, yeah, I'm just gonna pass on getting my license, I'm not interested. And I grew up in a sort of more traditional wow. suburb. And you know, your license was your ticket to freedom because mm -hmm. you couldn't walk anywhere, you couldn't take transit anywhere. So it's like, well, I've, I've got the bus, why would I need to get well, a license? they're gonna license? run to the club. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for oh your my time. Gosh, what I a really pleasure. appreciate it. That's I have a little gift be. for you. Oh, oh it's for your dance you. classes with your son. Yes, great. So it's a little Gymshark bag, and there's a bunch of clothes oh inside, track pants and this stuff. This is spectacular, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. All right, boys and girls, we are going for a late night run, a 50 minute run with some locals. I joined a running club and I'm kind of nervous about it. It's a 25 minute run out, 25 minute run back at seven o'clock at night, which is, which is brutal and I kind of regret doing it. But I wanted to show you guys something very interesting, which I've never seen before. Our Airbnb host actually like gave us this. Banana, other fruits, these things. I'm kind of disappointed he gave us dried fruit and nuts because he, he obviously doesn't watch the channel because we don't eat these things. Pretty big turnout for the running club. We're doing like an icebreaker right now. Your name and least favorite Thanksgiving food. I'm Josh. Let's go with overcooked turkey. Overcooked? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> turkey doesn't like baseball. I'm Will, and I think I'm one of the few that doesn't like mashed potatoes. Ooh. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we know you're right. We should just do a poll. Stuff. <laughs> I feel like a phony. <laughs> when you're ready, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to die right now. I have sweat in places that are meant for lube. But as you can see, I clearly lost all of them. But it's not about finishing first or keeping up with like the top people. It's about doing it at your own pace, finishing what you started, getting into fitness, starting a diet. It's hard to do on your own for a lot of people. So having that support from others makes it so much easier. I'm having a blast even though I lost everybody 10 minutes in. I will say though, I was expecting it to be more of like a social club along with the running, but there are some serious runners here. Like there was no talking to them. I was talking to this one guy, Dave. I was like, do you do this often? He's like, I do it almost every day. I was like, have you run a marathon? He's like, yeah, and I do ultra marathons, 50 kilometers. And I'm like, holy shit, I'll stop talking to you. I'll let you do your thing. So he just sprinted on up and I don't think I'll ever see him again in my life. All I was thinking about during that run was it would be the end for my knees. I thought I haven't really had since my pledge days, but at least there won't be any carpet burn. Anyways, after the run, we went to a popular Mediterranean restaurant called Yela Bistro, recommended by former White House chef, Andre Brush. Hopefully this meal will also give me 24 inch arms. I see you, Andre, I see you. The meal was delicious. The menu was full of healthy options to choose from. But after that run, I think I earned myself a flatbread. Take a look at that cheese pole. No, you can't have any. <laughs> we have spent the day in Arlington, an amazing city. So what have we learned? Well, we've learned that money is very important for getting fit, but I don't think it's everything. Sure, money can help you get healthy foods, access to like personal trainers, but I think what we've all seen today is the accessibility. Being able to leave your home, walk to a park. As a kid, you grow up and you see this, like your parents going for runs and stuff. That's what you adopt. But when you grow up in a place where it's not that healthy, you're probably not gonna be that healthy. So it's really cool to see like-minded people here. It's a very community-based, place like I have never seen so many people interact with one another the running club was a huge turnout it was so fun so if you struggle with any of your fitness goals try to join something there's a lot of people who are in the same position as you get motivated have some fun and that's what it's all about so I'm gonna wrap it up here if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one